Today we will be talk about a company that makes Ayurvedic medicine, cosmetics, food products and personal care goods. This company made other FMCG industry to think twice before launching any products. So this is Patanjali Ayurveda whose representative is Baba Ramdev. So without further delay let's begin. Baba Ramdev ki ground report mein kal aapne dekha ki kaise Patanjali seedhe kisano se khareedti hai. And in our special story next, Yoga Guru Baba Ramdev is known for teaching yoga to his followers. Now he even has a financial advice. Swami Ramdev ke Patanjali Samuha ka performance zabar dast raha hai. Samuha ka kul turnover 30,000 crore rupees se zyada ho gaya hai. Colgate ka gate bhi band hoga, Unilever ka liver bhi baithega, aur Nestle ki chidiya bhi udhe. So to start the story, let's go back in year 2006, where Bal Krishna and Baba Ramdev. Established the Divya Yog Mandir Trust in Haridwar, and under that trust, founded Patanjali Ayurved in 2006, a FMCG company that manufactures and trades food products, herbals, cosmetics, and Ayurvedic items. Patanjali did not make a lot of money in the beginning; their revenue was in double digits. This is because Patanjali was up against a lot of competition: Hindustan Unilever, Colgate. Dapper, ITC and Godrej consumer products have been in the market for a long time and had a solid relationship with customers. Here I would like to tell you that Unilever changed its name to Hindustan Unilever in 2007. From my point of view, I am seeing like this that Unilever changed its name because Patanjali was named and the approach was towards Indian and Ayurvedic. So they also decided to make themselves Indian by adding Hindustan in front of Unilever. If we skip 5 years, from 2011, Patanjali was making revenue double digit from its previous years and started supplying products pan India. The vision had been set, keeping nationalism, Ayurveda and yoga as a pillar and believe it or not, we Indians have begun to go towards the natural and herbal rather than the chemical mixed products as we can refer to the last decade for this. They currently have over 47,000 retail locations, 3,500 distributors, several warehouses in 18 states and 6 proposed factories. In FY 2021, the revenue totaled to Rs 9,783.81 crores. Now the question is how it has changed over the last 10 years and what strategy have been used. Baba Ramdev was the face of the Patanjali and laid the products as Swadeshi and tried it in a different way. First, pricing of the product. Patanjali strives to provide high quality product at reasonable price. First, the company obtained products legally from ranchers and eliminates the need for middlemen. Patanjali is able to cut its raw material acquisition expenses as a result of this. Second, Baba Ramdev has a strong personality and has a large number of following among NRIs and Indians. They donate land and money to the trust and as a result, Patanjali purchases terrains at a considerably low cost. Second, Swadeshi factor. Patanjali's progression method is enticing with the make in India push to grab up more attention from clients. Baba Ramdev's primary goal is to displace MNCs. They advertise their products by claiming that they contain no harmful synthetics ingredient and only natural. You also ensuring that the money you spend stays in the India by purchasing our products. The Swadeshi factor has shown to be a successful business strategy. Third, Digital Marketing and Advertisement Campaigns Patanjali takes a comprehensive strategy to digital marketing initiatives. It has various digital advertisements that focus on promoting its products and empathizing how healthy and natural they are on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Patanjali Ayurveda has conducted extensive study on their target group and understood the message they need to convey via their commercials as well as the most successful marketing media for their strategy. They have used taglines such as for biscuit, healthy India banega, Patanjali biscuit khaega. For honey, natural honey ka swad Patanjali ke saath. For toothpaste, karodo deshwasiyo ka baruse man herbal toothpaste dant kanti. For each product, they have a certain catchy phrase that sticks in your mind and makes you buy the product every time you go shopping for unnecessary items. That's it from my side. If you like this video, hit that like button. Share this insightful story with your friends and family and don't forget to comment your thoughts. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.